Hello everyone, I'm Vice91 and welcome back for more Let's Play Grandia 2. Last time we made our way through most of Durham Cave and Millennia was tagging along with us and along the way we ran into Rowan who was in trouble with some monsters. We saved him and he decided to tag along with us too to try to find his lost memento that he received from his mother. So he joined us and we are ready to get to the depths of Durham Cave. So we're going to see if we can retrieve that lost item for Rowan. I mean, why not? We might as well do a good deed, right? So here are the depths of the Durham Cave. And as we come a little bit closer, you can see what lies in front of us. We'll just run right into them. Uh, I think you could have kind of explored around a little bit, but eh, why wait? Okay, so we have two troglodytes and the Durham Minotaur who's getting ready to do a tornado horn, which does not sound good at all. Um, okay, something to note about most bosses is that their agility is usually very, very high. So you'll see that the Durham Minotaur will uh, execute actions a lot faster than the Troglodytes. I'm actually going to just do a regular critical attack on, um, on him because he charges his special attack fairly quickly and I just want to avoid any trouble from that. Um, I probably won't beat that guy to the punch, but I'll probably beat this guy. Alright, nice. So, I cancelled the Minotaur's attack, even though it didn't push him far back enough to where he decided on a new attack, so he's still gonna do that. So I may... Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to kind of perpetually delay him from ever attacking, but I'm going to try. Because that Tornado Horn attack can be uh, it's fairly dangerous. So he's probably getting pretty annoyed at us right now, but you see how fast he just moves? Oh, he decided on just a regular attack. That's nice. Okay, well that helps a little bit. Actually, I think I'm going to do Fallen Wings. I mean, why not? You know, I have the spirit points to spare. And that should take care of that troglodyte, and it will do quite a bit of damage to that one. And I'll just hack away on the Minotaur a little bit more. The bad thing about um, that whatever wings attack, I can't, I've fallen wings, that's what I'm trying to think of. The only problem with fallen wings is that it just takes so long to charge. Uh, charge times are pretty much proportional to the amount of special or spirit points that it takes to execute a special attack. So the more spirit points it takes, the longer it's going to take to charge. This is my way of thanking you. The good news is, is that through the process of upgrading um, by spending those special coins, not only does it make the attack stronger, it takes less time to charge. Ah, here comes the tornado horn. Yeah, I know he's charging for it. Yep, and it's going to be on Rowan, who can't defend against it, so that's kind of disappointing. But oh well, you'll get to see what this thing can do. As he struts all the way across the map. Ouch. So yeah, that did half health, basically. I wonder if that's like a clean half health attack, kind of like a, uh, you know, Demi was from Final Fantasy or something like that. I kind of wonder if that's the case. Alright, I'm going to heal him up, because he needs it. I'm going to keep throwing hammers at him, too. Raindrops! That's what I would say, if I cast that Go attack, hammer! or heal Crash! spell. That's how I would cast it, just raindrops. Up, oh, another tornado horn. You know what? Screw you. Critical. I'm not letting you do that, you jerk. Haha. -ha. Just a regular attack now. Actually, I should be able to uh, counter him. And then cancel. <laughs> I kind of like doing that. I don't know. It's got to annoy the crap out of them. I know that much. It would annoy me. 
just constantly being canceled. Okay. Probably not going to be able to stop him this time, but that's okay. I guess I could do some magic with Millennia. Whoops. Ouch! Okay, no, it wasn't like a clean 50% of uh, remaining health like attack or anything like that. I think it was just a happy accident that it did like half damage to Rowan earlier. Um, Crap, I can do magic with him too. I don't know why I'm kind of not doing that. Uh, let me do... Oh man, I could have used Stram on him a while ago. Oh well. It's kind of late in the battle to do that now. Can slash. Cancel! And a counter. Whoops! Ball in! Bang! Bang! Is it just me or is it a little warm? At least that's what DeLoco from Skies of Arcadia would say. Just bang! Ah, another tornado horn! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, I'm defending against it this time, jerk. Oh, it didn't flip him up in the air. It's kind of a nice little... I mean, that makes sense. I was prepared for it. Okay, uh, how about another burn to your face? Fireball! Oh, and he's dead. See ya! And he dropped a book. That he was... Well, we're not sure where he was keeping that, but anyway. So we get a Whirlwind Scroll and an Adventure Book. Ooh, and 800 Special Coins. Nice. We're certainly going to spend some of those. Okay. Hey, we acquired a skill book. Yeah, yeah, okay. Use Equip Power Up on the Field Window. Now, we can upgrade... I'll talk about skill books in a minute, but we can upgrade those just like we can Mana Eggs. Well, that did a lot of good. Might as well camp out here. We can wait until he dies of old age. What do we do? At this rate? Oh. Okay. Just burn him alive. You couldn't do that from the beginning? Huh. Serves you right to be toying with the wings of Valmar. What was that? Uh, who or what are you? Oops! I said that out loud, didn't I? Never mind me. We were sure in trouble there. What would have come of us if you had not... Forget about it. Now go get your medal! Oh, that's right! Uh, you gotta lift that thing off that burnt corpse. Well, we got his medal. It's here. All because of you. Thank you very much. Hang on a second. Did she or did she not just refer to herself as the Wings of Valmar? Huh? I do not know what you are talking about. Come on, let us hurry back. I feel so bad about making everyone worry. <sighs> Lollipop Lane, kid. Lollipop Lane. <laughs> like, seriously, did Rowan just not hear that at all? Um, anyway. Uh, we can't... Oh, I was kind of hoping we could, like, talk to him or something. Boo! Oh, really? I gotta head all the way back out the way we came? Okay, I guess so. Well, I'm going to do that, so I'll meet you guys back at the entrance to Durham Cave. Oh yeah, remember this little guy that we saw earlier on in the dungeon? This guy's, uh, this guy's uh, Caro, and we picked up a pop nut along the way. So let's give it to Caro. Hey, the little runt looks happy. If we give him more pop nuts, maybe he'll leave dead birds on our doorstep. <laughs> oh, and we had another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't think uh, he does anything, uh, no matter- oh, there's an item I missed. Whoops, firebomb. But I think he follows me around, uh, well, maybe not. Actually, you know, I don't think he really does anything. 
no matter how many puff nuts you give him I'm really not sure the purpose of him maybe there's something that I'm missing or anything like that but uh, as many times as I've done this I've never seen an actual benefit from giving him puff nuts especially since you can't do it until now anyway I don't know anyway it's always fun to feed the little the little you know caro guy or whatever Anyway, I'm heading out of the dun- actually, I'm pretty close to the beginning of the dungeon anyway. It's actually right here, so... I guess you guys can stick around while I exit. So let's head back to town. And bring little Rowan back to, you know, safety. Anyway, I don't want to overstay my welcome. And- Aha! The accursed light of the sun! It burns! It burns! Ha! <laughs> Believe me, didn't ya? See you, Ryudo. Give my regards to Elena. <sighs> I'm a bit tired. What do you mean by that? Hey! Uh, what's going on? Okay, what the crap just happened? Elena? Mr. Ryudo, what just happened? Miss Millennia is not really the wings of Valmar, right? Please tell me. According to her, yeah. No, but Valmar is the devil. But Miss Millennia is so pretty and kind. Hey, Elena, wake up! Elena! Oh, good morning, Ryudo. Mm, huh? Where am I? You alright? How did I get to this place? I think I'd be a little more freaked out than she was if I just woke up out in the middle of town. Do you speak the truth? Or is this yet another of your amusements? If it were, you'd fail to notice, remember? She calls herself Millennia, but she also said that she is the wings of Valmar. This cannot be. Miss Elena, I saw her too. Ditto. So, the wings of Valmar are... Inside of me. Well, well. Sonny, you're back. Right done, friend. You've made good on your fancy talk. I see you have yourself a few women. <laughs> I envy you, feller. Though the other filly you was with got my blood a-stirring. Really, dear? I'd like to see this. Maybe after my next knife act. It cannot be. Last night? That woman is evil incarnate. She brings nothing but sorrow and misfortune. That's so. Then I reckon she ain't too much different from any other woman. I can tell you about one woman who's going to be bringing you sorrow, honey. N now, now. <laughs> what are you going to do, Rowan? I am uncertain. I do not think Miss Millennia is evil or anything. Anyway, we can leave through the rear gate now. Unless you have some more missing jewelry, Rowan. If you are going across the Baked Plains, would you mind if I came along? Just me by myself is kind of... lonely. Yeah, well... Elena, you probably don't want him around. Oh, no, not at all. I do not mind. But we need to move quickly. I must reach Granis Cathedral before long. Uh, well, Ryudo doesn't seem too happy about that, but that's the way it's going. We all owe you one, boy, for getting rid of that monster. 
All right, so you can spend the night if you want to. Um, actually, I'm going to do that because I want to introduce something that the Grandia series is kind of known for. Relax here for a bit before we move on. So in the Grandia series, whenever you stay at an inn, not only do you just stay the night, but uh, they prepare a meal for you and you can actually have a conversation amongst your party members. Well, now that everything's calmed down, let's grab a bite to eat. So you can kind of cycle through uh, by pressing left and right to see what each person has to say. And once you see this icon over Ryudo's head, that means that uh, he will say something about going to bed. But let's just see what these guys have to say. Rowan, you have such wonderful table manners. Who did you learn them from? Your mother? My mother. Oh, she passed away a long time ago. She was very ill her whole life. Oh, oh my. I I'm so very sorry, Rowan. I did not know. I never would have asked. Do not worry, Miss Elena. I can hardly remember my mother. It was a very long time ago. I wish I could have known her better. So usually if uh, two people are kind of con conversing amongst each other, you can kind of cycle through each other to uh, see if you can move the conversation along. I do not remember my mother too well. I don't know what it is, what it is about you that reminds me of her. Me? What do you mean? You are so kind, yet strong. You are always putting others ahead of yourself. And you are so forgiving all of the time. You are just so close to the way I have always imagined my mother. Of course, my image of her is of my own creation. I do not ever want to upset you, Rowan. I think of you as... as my little brother. Really? Because you just met him this morning when you woke up! You hadn't even seen him before. Oh no, you saw him for like 30 seconds when you were scoffing down those fruits at the bar the other night. Ah, <sighs> that's perfect. They say that little brothers are more dependable than bigger sisters. Hey, just what is that supposed to mean? When you hugged me tightly, I felt so secure. Maybe that is what reminded me of my mother after so long. Hold on a second, Rowan. Hugged? I have never hugged you before. No, that was Millennia. She squeezed him real tight. What? <laughs> okay, well that's enough conver conversation. Let's go to bed. Well, I think we've talked and eaten enough. Are you ready to call it a night? So yeah, let's just get some sleep. Man, Vic sure can cook. Every time I see him, I end up eating too much. I really have to be careful about how I eat. Ah, a very admirable outlook, Ryudo. Well, a certain someone does constantly nag me about it. Besides, I should stay in shape if I want to stay a Geohound. Alright, so nothing really um, important about doing that if you stay at an end, but I don't know, it's just kind of fun to see some banter amongst your party members from time to time. Alright, so let's go, actually, let's go across the way because now we have a little bit more money. Maybe we can buy some better equipment that we passed on before we went to Durham Cave. So let's just take a quick look. It may not be too good to, um, to buy anything. We may just hold out until we reach the next town, but let's take a look. Um, we only have 2,400. Hmm... This stuff's pretty expensive. I may just hold out until we get to the next town. I mean, that's a decent upgrade, but... I'm probably just gonna hold out. Yeah. Have you acquired a skill book yet? If you want to know how to use skill books, ask that guy over there about skills. Actually, I'm not going to ask him, but uh, thanks for reminding me, dude. Because I totally forgot about that. So, if you go to Power Up here... And not only can we go through the eggs again, and I'll have to re-equip one of those eggs to Elena now that I'm thinking about it, but now we have an adventure book under the skill book section. So if we go in here, there are six skills that are listed. The first five are available to learn right off the bat. And the description down at the bottom says, for 240 special coins, plus 50 to plus 800 maximum HP. Now... I'll explain these in just a minute, but all of these are going to have ranges of skill upgrades, or attribute upgrades. Like this one, plus 10 to plus 50 strength, plus 10 to plus 50 vitality, plus 10 to plus 50 speed. This one cuts execution times for item commands, and we don't know what this one is yet. We have to unlock that. 
But let's go back to the beginning here. Um, now, if we go ahead and spend 240 special coins, we acquire Life Up. Now, the skills in the skill books have the same leveling system that your special moves and the magic spells from the mana eggs have. They have a ranking from 1 to 5 stars, and with each one of those stars, every time you level up one of these skills, the um, bonus from this particular skill will increase from every level up. And what I mean by that is you can equip these skills to one person. So you can equip this life up skill um, to one of your party members. And with one star, it will give that party member plus 50 HP. And at maximum level, it will give them plus 800 maximum HP. So between one and five stars, it'll be a various range. I don't know. It's something like 50 to 200 to 400 to 600 to 800 or something like that. So, and likewise, uh, this will be plus 10 strength, and then every level up will give you another plus 10. So, I'm definitely interested in these first three. Speed, I'm not too crazy about, but um, these skills are definitely worth getting. I mean, it makes getting around the game a lot easier. Now, I mean, it kind of... I mean, the difficulty curve in this game is decent. And um, actually, the first time I played this game, I remember getting the skill books, but I had no idea how to come in here and actually upgrade these skills and stuff like that. So I had a really hard time getting through the game. I mean, you can do it, but these skills make uh, make everything a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and power those up to level two and go to... Oh, skill equip has its own little section here. So each person right now has two empty slots where they can equip a skill. Now I'm going to give, uh, oh, you see, if we give him the life up, normally his max HP is 583, but now with a level of two, it'll bump him up 100 points. So I guess it's 50 to 100 to something or whatever. So it'll give him 100 points. Um, but I'm going to give him the strength because that's a plus 20 strength upgrade. Uh, that's really nice. I'm going to give Elena the toughness. So give her the defense boost, and then I'm going to give Rowan here the life up. So that way it provides some uh, nice little balance there. I'm also going to equip Elena because she doesn't have an accessory on. Uh, let's see, what do I want here? I'm either going to go with the snake earrings or crystal brooch. I'm going to go with the snake earrings. Poison is just so annoying. And we'll give her the chaos egg. That's the egg that uh, Millennia had equipped. Still not quite sure how Millennia turned into Elena. That's really weird. Actually, I'm going to check up on special moves. See, these are just really expensive to upgrade. I'm going to leave that as is right now. So, okay, that's good enough. That's good enough for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and head out of town to North Silesia. And now we have the option to... wait a minute. Now we went through... oh, we gotta go through the back door. That's right, the back entrance. That's right, okay. Uh, South Silesia, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, so our compass, our trusty compass, leads us this way. Okay, so they removed the gate, so now we can pass through. This looks a little better. Alright, yeah, now we can go to Baked Plains. I'm confused on why we go straight to Blake Baked Plains 3. But, oh, and now we're at Baked Plains 1. Whoops, I guess that was just kind of a glitch. Anyway, remember when we were going through, um... Oh, I can't remember the name of it now. But uh, all those mushrooms that we had to cut, well, now they're rocks that we have to cut. Yay! Okay. So, let's go ahead and save the next slot. Ta-da! Alright, already four hours in this game. That's crazy. Okay, so... Okay. So, another thing about Grandia and exploring the areas that we have to go through. Running through that gas... And that fissure that's in the side of the wall, that does some damage to your whole party. Now just look at Ryudo for instance, he's at 554 HP. 
So if I run through this thing, come on. <laughs> I love the sound effects too. So now we're down to 525. So that'll actually do some damage to everyone in your party. 200 gold there. So just keep an eye out for that stuff. Uh, you don't want to take too much unnecessary damage. I mean, why? There's no, there's no point. All right, so we have initiative against four giant mantises. Okay, well, let's just uh, combo this first one. I think I'm going to do some magic here against these guys. Um, let's see what Cal does. And then I'm also, I think I'm going to see what Zap does as well. Now, this could be overkill uh, for these four guys doing both of these spells, but something to pieces. keep in mind is that a lot of enemies in certain areas will have elemental weaknesses. And so if you can figure out what those weaknesses is, weaknesses are... See, that only did 60 damage to everybody, so that was really weak. So, they're obviously pretty strong against wind attacks. So, let's see how a lightning attack does against them. Oh, yeah. So, lightning is pretty good, so don't do a wind attack against it. Um, we'll see how fire does in just a little bit, but uh, it's definitely something to keep in mind for strategical purposes along these trips through these areas. Wow, it had one HP, really? One HP is the difference between life and death. How are you walking around? We got a seat of defense. And Rito and Rowan both gain levels. Now, seat of defense, I believe, is just a stat boosting C that you can boost your raw stat. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, it's over here in the valuable section. Seat of defense will add plus three to vitality. Um, wow, Rowan has really low vitality. Let's give it to him. Okay. So that's good. And we get a seed of running. Of course, we would get another seed right after that. I'll wait to use that later, just because I'm too lazy to go through the menu again. Ha! Huh, surprised you birds. Ha 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 ha. Alright. So, birds are... These birds are kind of weak enough. I can just combo the crap out of them. So, I'm just going to do that. Just to do something different. Why are you running all the way around? Oh my god, Elena tired herself out because she's an idiot and try to run the entire way around the pack of birds. Oh my god, why would you do that? Wow, Rowan. Wow, Rowan. Oh my god. Not only did he whiff on his first combo attack, then he got too tired to keep chasing down that bird. Wow, we are being idiots right now. <sighs> Yeah, work harder to chase down these people. Anyway. Uh, let's see, where was I going? Alright, that's probably the way forward. Here's some more mantises. I'll leave this battle in. Why not? I'll start cutting battles out after this one. Alright, so what else does he have? He doesn't have... Uh... He doesn't have much else. Let's see. Let's. You know what? Let's do a golden hammer. Against that guy. And let's do an impact bomb against the second guy. Golden hammer! Crash! And let's do a Tensei Ken slash against this guy. Now. You might as well go ahead and use your special moves because there's a natural way to regenerate uh, special points, spirit points, whatever. I don't know. Special points, spirit points, you know what I mean. So by doing combo attacks, you can regen your points. So, I mean, you might as well use your special moves along the way. Not to mention the fact that you can recover at save points. So, you know, might as well. But I'm going to combo this last one to death. Triple attack! Ryudo, what are you doing? Oh my god. Oh my god! Really? You just got tired? Three feet away from the guy? We are a special bunch right now. Y'all are a special group. Just... You're special. You're so special. 
All right, random treasure chest, 600 gold just laying out here in the middle of the baked plains. Hey, there's a bunch of rocks. Let's cut them. That's the first thing I think of when I think of big piles of rock. Hit it with a sword. Birds! That was fun. Hate that you guys missed it. I mean, I edited it out, but whatever. <laughs> it's not like you guys had a choice. Actually, really nothing interesting happened. I just wanted to say that. And let's get initiative. Man, we got three wound salves from that last fight. Okay, so the way forward's that way, but I'm gonna bust up in here. Bust up this giant mantis party. I love how they, like, they're frozen in time while I destroy these rocks. Alright. Hey, we get some dash shoes. This sound cool. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's take a look. Ooh, plus 10 movement and plus 4 defense. Gives dash power. Um, everybody's move is kind of the same. I'm just going to give them to Ryudo because I'm biased. I like giving stuff to him. I like making one person just crazy powerful. More mantises! Hey! And just a reminder that the movement stat is just... Oh, I'm sorry, not the movement, but the... Uh, well, yeah, movement, I guess. But speed corresponds to how fast you actually run across the battlefield during battle. So apparently those birds were guarding this 200 gold. They didn't want me to get it. <laughs> Show them. But why do they put all these rocks around? Seed of Psyche. Why do they put all these rocks around if they're not going to put anything in it? Ugh. So basically, all those rocks that we destroyed were worthless. Alright, let's go forward. Baked Plains 2! Hey, more jets. Yay. This will be fun. Ooh, and new enemies. New enemies are always fun. What in the crap are these? Sandmans. Uh, and they're like all doing sand spray. Sand spray does not sound fun. Okay, let's do... You know what? Let's do zap! Let's see how they like getting lightning in the face. Uh, I'm not too worried about that one. Eh, I guess I'll just randomly attack that one. Why not? God, they're all charging! Woo! She got it off in time. Okay, good. I think zap is pretty good against these guys. That does remind me of something, though. I need to learn in her mana egg. I'm going to check that out right after this battle. Yep, <laughs> they're all dead. Nice. Well, that's a good move to keep in your pocket. Hey, and a level up for your trouble. Alright, so we hit a thousand magic coins. Nice. So we're going to spend some of those. Let's go take a look at powering up that mana egg. That chaos egg. So, let's see, what do we want to magic up, magic up, level up? We'll learn how she could always benefit from how. Whoops, did not mean to do that. That unlocked uh, boost movement with the Tailwind and drops movement with Boon Chilling Cold. Uh, no, but we're going to power up Stram. I was hoping to unlock something, I think that should appear right here. Um, oh, nice, here it is. Attack with a huge pillar of fire. Yep, that's what I want. Burn flame. This has an AoE effect, um, just, just similar to what Zap has. And it will actually be very useful, so I'm going to actually power that up to three stars. We're going to need it, believe me. Um, I'll learn that too. Healer, why not? Attack with sharp wind blades in an enemy line. And I'll wait off on that. Magic symbol blocks enemy moves. Drops movement. Oh yeah, we already looked at that. Uh, that should be good for now. You know what, let's uh, bump up these three skills here. I got the special coins to, to use. So that's good. Seed of Power! Nice. Actually, I'm gonna, let me throw that on Ryudo real quick. And I have another seed I need to use. Oh, two more seeds. So I'll give that one to Ryudo, Psyche to Elena, and Running to Rowan. Why not? 
He don't want to feel left out. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over here. Oh no, that's where we came from. Uh, let's kind of hug the left side of the map for now. Really? Still nothing going to be in any of these rocks? Oh, well, at least this rock was guarding something. 600 gold. Hey, more of these guys. Okay, now let me show off Burn Flame, because I think Burn Flame is pretty good against these guys, too. And we have initiative. You're surrounded! Aw, oh, man, Elena's at the very back. That's annoying. Alright, let's attack the first few, just to, uh... Help Elena give give Elena a little bit more time to get this off. All right, so let's use Burn Flame and the guy in the middle. Come on, okay. Rise, old flame. Uh, not as good as Zap, but uh, pretty good. I mean, it's decent. Here's Sand Spray, which is pretty annoying. So, not only do you take some damage, but it knocks down your movement uh, by one. But that's not like one attribute point. That's like... I guess it's like um, uh, one debuff. So it doesn't really mean points. But you see how like slow... Well, it's kind of hard to see. But Rowan's moving a little bit slower than usual. We won. And actually, if you get a stack... Those debuffs can stack, so if you get hit by more than one of those, then they can kind of stack and add up, and then it takes forever for a character to run across to the enemy they're attacking, and then it's just, I don't know, it's just no good. Ryudo's up to level 17, so nice. There's a Seed of Swift on the other side of that tree, don't miss that. I uh, can't get up there, there's another Seed up there, don't forget about that. Uh, let's see, what else? I think we're towards the beginning again here. Right? This was, yeah, this is towards the beginning. So now this is kind of the right side. Alright, here's another one of their attacks that they can do. Earth Break. That hurts. Alright. Now you may have noticed that I'm pretty much fighting all the enemies that I can find on the world map. Or on the world map, but uh, you know, out here in the field. <clears throat> Now, you don't have to do that. I mean, all, all enemy encounters are avoidable, but I choose to fight everything in every area just because that's a good way to kind of make sure that your level up scale remains consistent. And as long as you fight um, most, if not all, enemies that you come across, then you should never have to worry about level grinding or anything like that. So if you see an enemy, just go ahead and fight it. It'll be worth it. Here we have a healing herb, a north wind cape, and a poison charm. May check out that North Wind Cape a little bit later, but not right now. All right, Elena up to level 16. After that, that's good. 200 gold. Hey, more enemies. And the battles never end. Okay. Hey, there's a seed down there. Seed of defense. Sweet! Okay, is that all? No. Okay, so that's where I was. I think I've covered the full loop here. Alright, uh, more enemies. Rowan gained a level. Woo! Hey, we get a pop nut. Where's Caro? Where is he? I got a pop nut for him. Okay, one more seed of magic there. And what looks to be like a death trap of spikes over there, but you can't get through there. Alright, so a little bit further through here is Baked Plains 3, but before I proceed in there, I'm actually going to call it an episode before I move along. Now, I'm trying not to end episodes in the middle of areas. I don't really like doing that, but I'm kind of in an awkward place right now, and this episode has gone on, you know, I mean, it's fairly long. So, I'm going to cut it off right now before we move any further, and, um... You know, uh, I guess we'll tackle Baked Plains 3 in the next episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys and girls and whoever else is watching this. You know, who knows? Maybe maybe, uh, maybe everyone will watch this. I don't know. <laughs> but um, thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And next time, uh, join me as we go through Baked Plains 3. 
So until then, you guys take care, and I'll see y'all later for more Let's Play Grandia 2!